Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. This video that I'm going to do today is going to be part one of the repeater ID that will get any repeater to ID itself. Doesn't matter if it's GMRS, doesn't matter if it's ham, doesn't matter if it's business band. Now this particular video, we're only going to do the playback feature. I do not have the whole circuit done. I don't, when I do circuitry, I do do it in parts like in this particular case I need to make sure the playback the sound quality is as best as I can get it before I worry about the timer circuit or before I worry about the PTT circuitry so in this particular video I only have the playback function working so when I do this test on in, in this video I'm gonna have to manually key up this radio that's because like I said I'm not going to worry about that circuitry until I know this is going to this is working the way I want it to work. Okay, so this is so this does not use any computer. It does not use any Raspberry Pi. It will not use any Vox. Now you will need a computer to set it up initially, but it's really simple. I'm not going to get into that now in this video. But um, uh, but it, you know if all goes well and this keeps going the way I want it to go. I'll do more videos as I make progress. Now it brings me to the next point. This is very important. When I do projects, I need you to go to my, I'll post a link down below. I need you to sign up and get notified. If you're interested in this particular uh, interface board, repeater ID, that will work with, the plan is it will work with a handheld or a mobile radio, please sign up to get notified through email. That lets me know how many people are interested in this. If I don't get enough interest and I stop the project and I move on to something else. Another way I, reason I may stop a project, if it doesn't work the way I want it to work, then I put it on hold and I may come back to it later. So make sure you go to that link if you're interested. I'll post in the description below and you can go to that link and sign up to get notified. That lets me know how many people are, are you know interested in it. Does not mean you're going to buy it for sure, but you're interested in it. So, how this is going to work, like I said, this will get any repeater to ID itself. Even if the repeater does not have any hookups for uh, to hook up an interface board or anything like that. How this works is the radio you hook this up to, as long as you can program the repeater frequency and you're within that repeater range, you can get any repeated ID itself. This ID that I'm building can do voice and or Morse code. So what I mean by that is I could have a short message and then after my short message have it to do my call sign and Morse code. Or I can just have it do Morse code, my call sign and Morse code and I even have a message. Or I could do a short message and have it say spell out my, my call sign. In this particular video, you, I'm, gonna, I'm having it do voice. You're going to hear voice. Now, it's not a my voice. It's going to be a computer-generated voice, but you'll hear it. That's what I'm going to do in this particular uh, video. But it can do either way. And there's also a volume control on this board, and I have it set to what I think is a good sound. Everybody got their own preference, but I do have it set to what I think is sounds good. So... Um, but yeah, as long as you got this radio programmed to the repeater that you want to get the ID to work on, and as long as this radio is within repeater range, meaning you can't be on the edge, you know, the edge of the repeater and it's staticky, because if it's if the reception staticky, then it's going to be playing the repeater ID staticky. So keep that in mind. Now in this particular case, the repeater is in another room over there. Now what I did here is I want you to actually hear how this sounds coming over radio. So I thought it's best to put a microphone an inch away from this radio. I have the volume on the radio at 50%. I have the microphone setting in the uh, computer at 50%. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I want you to know how I have this set up. It's about an inch away because how I have this microphone set up for the computer is greatly going to, you know, show how um, the sound quality is. So I try to keep everything at 50%. So it's, it's no, I'm not doing anything special. Okay. And this, like I said, is about an inch away. And the volume on here is 50%. Now, this radio obviously is reprogrammed to the repeater that you cannot see offline. 
So you're going to hear how it actually sounds coming off the repeater. This is going to transmit my, re my repeater ID. I'll have to manually key it up because, like I said before, I'm building this in stages. And then you'll hear it come over this radio. Uh, no, no Raspberry Pi, no computer making this work um, for this uh, playback, for, for any of this when it's all said and done. So, and there'll be no Vox either when I do this. So, um, so I believe I touched on everything. This is still a prototype. I'm still working on it. Uh, so kind of bear with me. Um, also too, I got LED lights all over. Um, so that might make some hum. I'm not sure. We'll find out. When I key this up, the way I have my hand by the antenna, that might also make it sound. I'm going to try to keep my hand like, you know, with, so it doesn't interfere. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to change mic. I'm going to turn off the microphone I'm talking on now. And I'm going to turn on this microphone. So I'll be right back. So there you go. Hopefully you heard that. Hopefully you'll come over the video pretty decently. But that's how it's sounding so far. So if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Any, like I said, any comments or suggestions, um, post them down below. Or shoot me an email too if you want. Please subscribe. Thank you and have yourself a good day.